All right, so there's a hell of a lot of confusion around the Turtle Beach Stealth 700 series updating of the dongles and the headset. Um, things that you're going to need, if you're just taking it out of the box and you haven't tried updating it yet, these are the directions. I'll go into what you do if you already have here in a little bit. Um, so you're going to need um, your iPhone or Android phone with the Stealth 2 app installed on the phone. You're going to need a PC. Don't put the Stealth app on your PC. You don't need it there at all. Not yet. Not yet. Um, you might need it for the drivers, but uh, you're not going to do any updating from the PC. Um, you need the headset with your two dongles. Um, it could be Xbox or whatever series you bought, um, but you're going to need the dongles as well. Make sure that your headset is fully charged because the update takes 20 to 30 minutes. All right, so a little bit about the architecture. So the updates up at the very top get loaded onto your phone um, using the Stealth 2 app when it detects your dongles in your headset. You're going to Bluetooth connect your headset to the Stealth 2 app on your phone. Uh, that connection over Bluetooth is going to transfer your files to the headset. Um, from the headset, it delivers the... Um, updates to the dongles via 2.4 gigahertz so uh, i believe that's how it works maybe it's sending it some other way but i believe that's how it works uh, so you're gonna have your uh, xbox dongle plugged into your xbox not your pc don't follow the directions if it tells you to plug them both into the pc that's where most people go wrong so the dongle goes into your pc it can also go into a mac um, all it needs is power uh, i did the update connected to a PC, but then I also had it connected to the Mac and it seemed to work okay. Uh, so put the dongles into the appropriate slots. If uh, We'll go into the ifs in a minute here. All right, so insert the USB dongle into your PC. Insert the Xbox dongle into your Xbox, not the PC. Both the dongles should be flashing fast, meaning they're not paired. So you're gonna hold down the power button on the headset for about two to three seconds and you should hear the beep as the dongles pair with the headset. <clears throat> so they'll go from a super fast flashing to sort of a slow, slower pulsing, um, and you'll hear the beeps on the headset. Uh, now you're going to hold down the Bluetooth button on the headset <clears throat> for about two to three seconds uh, until it goes into Bluetooth pairing mode. Um, go into your phone and pair your phone with the headset. Not in the app, but you're going to do that with your Bluetooth settings. Then you're going to open up your Stealth 2 app on your phone and you're going to follow the prompts for an update. It should have updates uh, available and ready for it. Um, go ahead and just follow the directions and go through it. If the update fails, you can try it again. Um, hopefully it didn't brick anything. Um, if you're having problems, though, you can hold down the top two buttons on each ear cup. Um, it's the mode button and then the button you use to switch between the dongles. Hold those in for about 10 to 15 seconds and then release them and the headset will reboot and you can try the process again. Uh, the process does take a while, like 20 to 30 minutes. Keep your app open, don't switch screens and don't let it go to sleep. You want to stick there and watch it because if this thing goes bad, um, it can mean that you end up having to get a new dongle. <clears throat> All right, so troubleshooting. If you started off by updating on the PC alone with both of the dongles plugged into the PC, you might have a problem. This is where I went wrong. So I was following the directions on the app on the PC. I plugged them both in. It did the flash. And then my, um, my Xbox dongle, when I unplugged it and plugged it into the Xbox, the Xbox didn't say, hey, I found a headset, which it should. It did pair. Um, but there was no audio coming from the Xbox at all. No matter what you did, you weren't going to get audio from the Xbox. I got audio from the PC, and I got audio from Bluetooth, but not the Xbox. <clears throat> so, on the Stealth 2, how you can see if, if things went badly for you. Um, on the Stealth 2 app, go to the third button from the left and see what the platform mode says. Uh, so, I'm going to switch over to here. So, in the app, you can see the... Uh, the third button from the bottom is selected and go, you'll see a headset tab and a transmitter tab. Go to the transmitter tab. And if it says under platform mode USB on your Xbox transmitter, you're screwed. Um, I have not found a way to be able to fix that, <clears throat> to switch from 
uh, to, to have it show Xbox. Uh, that means that you probably updated on the PC and it flashed your Xbox dongle as a USB dongle. So no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to work. So I opened a case with support um, and it takes a while, man. They took like over a week and a half to get back with me. Uh, alternatively, you can go to their website and just do a search for 700 Series 3 dongle. They don't show up on the website unless you search for it. And you can buy a new one for 30 bucks if you're in a hurry. Um, or you can, uh, <clears throat> go through the support route and you're going to have to show that you went through all these troubleshooting steps and then have them send you a new dongle. Now they sent me a new dongle. Um, and I haven't even opened it because what I did, because I was impatient is I went to uh, micro center and I bought a whole new headset <clears throat> and went through the whole process, just as I've defined here from beginning to end and everything worked perfectly. Um, so I have not tested just using the Xbox dongle, the new one they sent, because I didn't want to do anything to it um, in case I wanted to sell it or whatever. Uh, but open a case with support because you're probably under warranty and you can uh, uh, go through that path with them if you've got the time to do it. So um, I returned my old headset through Amazon and uh, they don't give you a refund on these things until... Um, they receive it and they go through and make sure everything's in the box. So anyway, uh, I hope this helps some people because their directions, if you install the stealth Two app on your PC and then go through the directions on there, you're probably going to break your Xbox dongle because it tells you to plug them both into the PC. And that is incorrect. Don't use the stealth Two app on your PC to update these things. Use your phone. All right. Hope this helps some people.